Welcome to an 8th Wall Create session. In this quick session, we'll show you how to create a cool cell fracture animation in Blender and then export that to your WebAR project. In Blender, we'll first add a plane to our scene and then scale it up to our specified size. Next, we'll add a UV sphere into the scene. You can use the toolbar on the left to maneuver the sphere above the plane. Once we have both entities in the scene, we can add a rigid body to them. We'll add a passive rigid body to the plane. Next, we'll add an active rigid body to the UV sphere. Once both entities have a rigid body, we can press play on the timeline and see them interact. Next, we'll create a material for our UV sphere. You can do this by clicking on the red sphere on the right side of the screen and create a new material. Under base color, you can select a color for the sphere. You won't be able to see it at first, but if you change to UV shading on the top right, you'll be able to see it. We could add shade smooth to our UV sphere. This is a nice way to add a smooth surface without adding extra polygons. After this, we can use the cell fracture add-on to create the fractures in our UV sphere. If you don't have this add-on, you can import it in your preferences. Once we've opened up the add-on, we can change the noise to 0.5 and then press OK to continue. After the fracture add-on is done, we can delete our original sphere. This now leaves us with a bunch of little fractures from our original UV sphere. You can see me move this one back and forth. What I want to do next is grab all the fractures and add an active rigid body to them. After this, I can shorten my timeline to 100 frames and press spacebar to see the magic happen. Pretty cool. After that, I can select all my fractures and bake the animation to a keyframe. This way I'll be able to export it in my GLB file. You can see the animation plays in the same way. Once I've verified the animation, I can select all the objects and export in a GLTF slash GLB file type. Next, we can head over to the 8th Wall Project Library and search for the Animation Mixture Sample Project. This sample project shows you how to use the Animation Mixture component to play an animation on a GLTF slash GLB file type. Let's clone the project. Then let's drag in our GLB model. Once we've done this, we can replace the robot.glb in the file with our ball.glb file that we exported from Blender. We can comment out the div at the top of the body.html file, and then go into app.js and comment out the A-frame component here, as we won't be using it. We'll head back to the body and down to where we import our glb model under the animation mixer component. We'll change the clip to star and then the loop to ping pong. This way, we'll be able to play all the animations in our GLB and it'll ping pong back and forth. Let's save and build to see it and click the preview button to scan the QR code. And there you have it.